E-bikes are changing the way we get around. But there's a real reason why speed limiters are built in, and why ignoring them can be risky. First, e-bikes are heavier than regular bikes because of their batteries and motors. That extra weight means they can accelerate quickly, especially downhill, and they're harder to stop or control in an emergency. Combine that with higher speeds, and you have less time to react, making accidents more likely and more severe. In fact, between 2017 and 2022, e-bikes were linked to over 53,000 emergency room visits and nearly half of all micromobility-related deaths in the U.S. So why do manufacturers put speed limiters on e-bikes? It's not just about safety, though that's a big part of it. In the U.S., federal law says an e-bike can only go up to 20 miles per hour on motor power alone to be considered a bicycle. Go faster, and it's legally a motor vehicle, which means stricter rules, licenses, insurance, and registration. There are three main classes. Class 1 and 2 are capped at 20 miles per hour, while Class 3 can go up to 28, but only with pedal assist. These limits keep e-bikes accessible and legal for most riders. What happens if you remove the limiter? You're not just breaking the law, you're putting yourself at risk. Higher speeds demand stronger brakes and tougher frames, and most stock e-bikes aren't built for that. You could overheat the battery, damage the motor, void your warranty, or even lose insurance coverage. If you crash, you could face fines or criminal charges, especially if your bike is reclassified as a motor vehicle. Now, some e-bikes do offer an off-road mode that disables the limiter. These are designed for private property or trails, not public roads. They're for riders who want speed in the right setting, not just to unlock their bike for everyday use. But if you use off-road mode on the street, you could still run into legal trouble. Bottom line, speed limiters aren't just a technical feature they're a safety and legal necessity. If you want to go fast, make sure you're doing it in the right place, with the right equipment, and within the law.